Okay, so welcome to um, Keeps Mechanical Issues Episode 1, where today I have a problem with my clutch. As you can see, it's stuck in reverse, and the clutch has no weight to it whatsoever. This happened last night when I had to pick up my roommate from the library. He was studying or had tutoring or something. And halfway home, my clutch decided that it just didn't want to live anymore, and it uh, decided to die. And I couldn't put it in gear. I could barely, well, I won't say that. I could. It just took a lot of force. It got worse as time went on. It's, like, really bad now. It wasn't this bad. But, uh, yeah. I basically had to power shift all the way home, or basically shift without the clutch, which is never a really a good thing. And this was completely out of nowhere. I don't know what happened. I am assuming one thing, and I hope that... What I'm thinking is the case because then it'll be really easy and not that expensive. But yeah, as you can see, clutch is all the way in. I don't know. No, hold on. Yep. All the way in. And it won't go out of reverse. And I don't want to force it too much, you know. Like it shouldn't take that much force to take it out of gear. I mean last night when the car was off, it would go in and out of gear no problem, but now it's not the case. Now it's, you know, bad even when the car's off. I don't even want to try and start it, because, you know, if the clutch is non-existent right now, it probably won't start anyways, and I'll have to bump start it, but I don't really want to do that. But anyways, I'm going to take a look under the hood, see if what I'm thinking it is, is the case. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so. This power steering, no, not there. Uh, where could it be? Hmm. I do not know, but that location looks empty right there. Yeah, I thought I knew where this was. Uh, I might be wrong. Where is it? be that. I can't read it because it's upside down. I think it's this thing right here. It looks empty. Hold on now. Um, clean. Clean filter before removing. Use only use only dot three or four. And yeah, I think that's it. I believe that is it. So I don't really want to remove it because it says don't do it unless the filter's clean. And I don't know if it's clean or not. So it's always great. But I think I know what the problem is and how to fix it. And it's what I was hoping it was. So it's not going to take much time or money to fix. Well... I guess I'll keep you updated, but still annoying because I'm not home right now. I'm out four hours away from home for university, and in a week or so, I was supposed to have a four hour drive home. And if this was bad, then I would have been in a pretty messy situation. Wait, look, what is oh, it? Looks like there's a rock down there or something. I'm kind of relieved now that I think I know it's nothing serious. I'll keep you updated, I suppose, when I get it fixed.